Rust programming is a system language like C, C++, and Go. If you've heard of Solana blockchain, you've probably realized that you can use Rust to write their smart contract. So if you're interested in learning Rust to create dApps in Solana, you've come to the right place because I'll give you a quick introduction to Rust and show you how easy it is to build a basic Rust program inside your computer. If you're new here, this video has been made by Alex, voiced by me, Joelle, and on Eat the Block, we help you to transition into Web3. In Solana, smart contracts are called programs and Rust is the language that we can use to build programs that are deployed on chain. Besides writing smart contracts, you can also use Rust to develop other types of programs such as embedded programs, CLI programs, and WebAssembly program. Rust is a statistically typed, multi-paradigm program language that's focused on safety and building a high-performance program. One thing to consider when developing high-performance programs is memory processing. There are a lot of similarities between Rust and C++ syntax, but unlike C++, Rust can automatically handle memory processing for you. Hence, this is one of the reasons why many developers love writing code using Rust. To install Rust in your computer, we just have to download the installer from their website at rust-lang.org. Once you've downloaded the installer, run it, select one, and press enter. Then press enter again. Once the installation is done, we can now start writing Rust inside our computer. Inside the terminal, type cargo in it to create a Rust project inside the folder. There's a package manager which allows you to manage product versions and dependencies. Then, inside the source file, we have our main function. To run our program, we type cargo run in our terminal. The main function is always the first function that will be executed when running a Rust program. If we change the name of this function, the program will return an error. We can import functions into our main file by creating a public function using the pub keyword. Use the mod keyword, which stands for module, to import the hello file. Inside our main function, key in the file name hello, then double semicolon followed by the function that we're calling. Now we can type cargo run in our terminal, and the hello world text is printed in our console. And that's how easy it is to get started in writing Rust. If you would like to learn how to create a Solana smart contract with Rust, check out this Code a Solana smart contract in two minutes video. Don't forget to subscribe for more future content and like the video to support us. I'll see you again next time. Bye.